In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create some fantastic looking tables using Elementor and the ultimate add-ons for Elementor plugin. Now I've been using these tables on my affiliate marketing websites for quite a while. In fact, I featured them in my big tutorial on how I create a affiliate website. And if you haven't seen that, do go check it out. I'll put a link up now to a playlist that contains that tutorial as well as a whole load of other videos all around affiliate marketing. So these tables, they look fantastic. Here you go, take a look at a few of them. I've been using these tables on my sites for quite a while, I really like them. They're useful for showing off affiliate products, but you could use them for anything you like. Now, as I mentioned, these tables are powered by the ultimate add-ons extension for Elementor, which you will need if you wanna set these tables up. If you haven't got yourself a copy yet, then I'll put a link up now, and you'll also find a link in the description. That is an affiliate link because it is a premium plugin. If you do go through that link and make a purchase, I will earn a small commission, so uh, thank you very much. One downside to these tables is that the kind of setup interface can look a little bit confusing. It can be a little bit complicated. And I've had a few messages from you guys, from my viewers, uh, from people saying that they've got a little bit stuck setting these tables up because yeah, it can be a little bit confusing, which is why I'm creating this video. I'm gonna take you through setting up a table, changing the colors, adding some stuff, and yeah, hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be 100% clear on how to create some fantastic tables using this Elementor extension. Now, if you're running an Amazon affiliate website, you might prefer tables that look like this. Now, those tables are powered by the fantastic AAWP plugin, and yeah, I've done a video on that too. I'll put a link to that video up now, and again, there'll be a link in the description. So if you fancy those tables, then do check out that video. They're powered using the Amazon API. So basically, it pulls in information from Amazon automatically. You will need to have made free sales on your associate account to get access to that API. But yeah, if you've done that, then yeah, well worth checking those tables out. But anyway, back to Elementor. I think it's about time to set up a table. One quick thing before we jump on the computer. If you're new here, why not subscribe? Just click that red button below. Make sure you click the bell. I try and upload every single week and I try and go live every single week. It'd be good to see you there. If you find this video useful, if it helps you out at all, please click the like button because that really helps me out. Anyway, let's go. So over at bestroofbox.com, I've created myself a blank page just to play around with. I've now gone into Elementor and well, here we are. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, you will need the ultimate add-ons for Elementor um, plugin, which basically adds a whole load of extra stuff to Elementor. You'll find a link to it in the description. It is an affiliate link, so I will earn a small commission if you use it. And yeah, I really appreciate it if you do. Thanks very much. So once you've got that plugin and you've got it installed on your site, when you start editing a page with Elementor, when you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see that you've got a new section full of fantastic widgets. They're all in here under the ultimate add-ons bit. And you've got all these really cool widgets. Now, of course, we're gonna be using the table one today, so let's grab that and put it onto the page. And here's our table. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, it's this area on the left that can sometimes look a little bit confusing, can overwhelm people. But if you get your head around it, it's actually quite simple to use. So let's start just by looking at these sections. We'll go through the content bit in a moment, but here we've got the style. I mean, this is very similar to a lot of other Elementor widgets. You can come in here, you can mess around with the, uh, the font. You know, it's obviously on default, but if you wanted a different font, for your table, you can just come in here and change it. Now this is for the header that I'm changing here, but um, you know, if I wanted to change the body text and stuff, it's all in here. So yeah, if you've used any kind of uh, Elementor widget um, before, you'll be kind of used to these settings. There's a few extra options in here. For example, you can turn off that striped effect, or we can change the colors of the stripes. So that's pretty cool. In here, we've got some settings around icons and images. So when we're editing our table, we can easily insert icons and images and adjust their, the scale and spacing and, and all that kind of stuff in here. 
Finally, we can customise the colour of the search and show entries options, which I'm not using on this table. Um, you may want to use them, I've never used the search on the table. Uh, I'll show you how to turn those on in a minute. Basically adds a little search uh, box at the top so people can search through the data in your table. In the advanced section, it's all the usual advanced stuff. So, you know, add margin, padding, uh, add motion effects and backgrounds and borders. I never really use any of this stuff. The only bit I've probably used in the past is the responsive um, section, which basically allows you to hide the table on certain devices. So that's those two sections within the settings. Let's go back to content, because that's the bit that's gonna be taking up most of your time. So let's start at the top. First bit is the table header. So that's the um, row across the top, the header of the table. So you know where your headings are for all your different columns. Now I always use a manual source, basically just editing it within here. If you do have a CSV file, you can import that and use that, but I've, I've never done that. But I guess if you've got a big table, then yeah, it might be useful. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna do it manually, so let's do some manual stuff. First thing we've got here is a row. Basically what that tells um, the table is that it's a new row. So there we go. If we wanted another row of um, header, which I guess would be a little bit unusual to have two headers, but I don't know, depends on your table, I guess. We could add a new row, so go to Add Item and select Start New Row. And then if we were to add another cell, so I've done Add Item and then just leave it on Cell, we can see that it started on a new row. If we didn't have this here, I took it out, the new cell would appear over here as a new column. You still with me? So wherever we want to add a new row, we insert a row thing, whatever, I don't know what these things are called. But we'll call it a thing for now. So let's get rid of that cell, keep our table nice and neat. Why are you not going? Let's click, oh, there we go. <laughs> right. So let's move on to the cells. If you wanna change a particular cell, you need to click on it here. So this is cell sample ID, which is this first one here. If you wanna change the text, just come here and type it uh, in. So maybe something like first cell in the table. Or more than likely, it'd probably be something like image if you're doing an uh, affiliate table. Let's try and build a proper kind of table, shall we? So I'm thinking that in this column here, I'm gonna add some images. Now, if you don't want text, you can add um, an icon or an image, or if you want a combination of text and images, you can do that too, just come in here on icon, and there's a whole icon library, just click on the plus and you can you know, choose something here. Have we got anything that looks like an image? Oh yeah, look, we have, let's do that. There we go, that's nice, isn't it? Let's say you don't have to have the text, you can come in here and you can remove that text. Just have the icon. I'm gonna put the text back. Or indeed you can have an image, just choose image and then you know choose something from your media library. I'm not gonna do that right now, but it's pretty straightforward. As I mentioned, you can adjust the sizing and everything within the style up here. Next up we've got advance, which should be advanced probably, but in here we can change things like the span. So if you wanted that to go across two columns, you can do that. If you want it to go across multiple rows, you can increase that, although I've only got one uh, header row, of course, haven't I? remove that other one so I can't do that. We can adjust the width if we need that to be a certain width. And we can change the color. That's the color of the text and the color of the icon. And also the uh, background color. Make it white or make it blue. Make that white, that'll look better. Have something like that. So it's pretty flexible in terms of what you can do uh, with the columns and with the colors and, and all that kind of stuff. Just come into advance and there's a whole load of options. And then we would continue to work through and update the cells. So this one might be, you know, product name. And this one might be, um, I don't know. Features or size, you know, whatever you want, whatever data you wanna show off on your table. 
So that's our header. That's all done, I mean, simple as that. I say if you wanna add a new cell, you just click Add Item and uh, add a cell. Or indeed, you can make a copy of an existing one. Just click on this little duplicate icon and there we have it. So next in here is the table content. So that is the rest of the table basically. Again, it uses rows and cells. So if I wanted to add a new row of content, I'd come in here and go Add Item. Now it's gonna to default to adding a new cell and as you can see, it's appeared over here. On it onto a new row, I go Start New Row, and then Add Again, and then that cell has now appeared down here. Let's get rid of that for now. And again, it's the same process. You click on the cell, you can change the text, you can add a link. You can add uh, an icon or an image, and you've got the advanced settings as well. Again, you can adjust the span across the columns and the rows. You convert this cell into a table heading, which seems to kind of make it bold, make it very heading-y. You wanna do that. And again, you can adjust the colors. Now let me show you how you would add an Amazon Site Stripe image, which might be something that you guys wanna do. So if I head over to Amazon, Okay, say I wanted to add something, I don't know, where's a, where's a product? Okay, one of these pressure washers. If I wanted to add this image, I come into my Amazon, go to image, I'm gonna set it to large. For the image size, I'm gonna copy this code, which is here. Go back to my table and then just simply paste it in. And there we have it, lovely site stripe image. Now you don't need to include a link here because this has already got your link built in. So that's the image and then of course we just carry on working through adding all the details. So you know, fantastic. I don't know what that product's called. We'll just put something in. Pressure washer. And then um, the size, quite big. There we have it. I wanted to make that uh, a different color. That last cell there, just go into advanced, change the, uh, um, the font color. Let's go for the green, change the background color. Oh, it's already white, that's a bit silly. <laughs> Let's go for blue. There we have it. Of course, if you want a smaller image, you could just choose a smaller one within Amazon. And that's about it. There's not a lot more to it, to be honest. We've got some advanced settings down here. So the things I mentioned earlier about having a search, you can turn that on here. Adjust the style of that within style. You can have a show entries drop down, which kind of, if you've got long tables, will restrict how many entries are shown. Indeed, you can make your table sortable by clicking on that, and then people can click on the headers and it will sort, which uh, might be quite useful. So what I'll do is I'll populate this table with some stuff and style it up a little bit more, just so you can see what it looks like when it's all finished. Let's do a quick edit. So there we go then, I've populated the table with a few pressure washers. It's looking good. I've highlighted this one in green just by changing the background and the font color to white, just because that's the product that I've chosen as the one that we're recommending. It's a little bit tricky to change the color of this because the images from Amazon have a white background, so. Yeah, that's not ideal, but I think it still looks pretty good. Let's just preview it. See what it looks like on the front of the site. There it is, it's beautiful. And we're all done. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you've got a lovely table set up now. If you've got any questions or comments about this, or about anything really, <laughs> do leave them below this video. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not yet subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face, which will appear up there. If you want to check out the vlog channel, click on my other face. And here are a couple more videos they've been chosen specially for you, so I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.